Hello people. Udemand is a real-time, collaborative learning platform for software development. It produces professionals that are self-sufficient and have the willpower to compete on global business networks. Here in this tutorial video we will talk about Salesforce FSL. Salesforce FSL, Field Service Lightning, is a cloud-based software solution that enables businesses to manage their field service operations. This includes scheduling and dispatching of resources, maintaining customer data, tracking inventory, and enabling remote worker tracking. It also allows customers to submit service requests and facilitates communication between customers, technicians, and the company. Here are the topics covered overall in this video series. Field Service Dispatcher Console Global and in-day optimization Optimizations and Custom Actions Service Crews Maintenance Plan In order to learn more about emerging technologies, kindly give the channel a like, share and subscribe to it. Contact us for more details at sales at the rate you demand.org. Let's get started. Okay, so let me then start from scratch. Uh, okay, so okay, so what is field service lightning? As I have already um, said, it, it is a comprehensive view of service cloud basically. So, uh, it's 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 uh, a Salesforce product that connects with the customers, and it is workflows and products on a single platform, which will deliver the exceptional on-site services. Means it is actually. Uh, means uh, 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 it, is, it is it is kind of a field technician works it means suppose if some 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 issue is uh somebody somebody if if, if you have if already you are a service cloud consultant you know that case is generated by a customer and based on the case priority from the customer desk people are picking up that case supporting picking up that case and working on that case itself so what is happening in field service based on the case priority or case severity, few of the tasks will be generated, which is actually named as work order in field service lighting. And based on that work order, what is happening, that task will be assigned to specific resources. It's like you will create a you, will, you can create an user and make that user as a service resource. That service resource will be working as a field technician and he will provide he will go to that customer's place, customer's house, and then he will provide the on-site services. He's a field technician, and it also had a mobile offline capability. He can accept the job which is assigned to him by a field service admin. I will come to that, and that uh, specific job, he will accept it based on, and the job which will be assigned to that specific service resource, it definitely match should match to his skills. Without skills, that job should not be assigned to a service resource randomly. It's not possible. It is not possible. If skill will match, if the territory will match, suppose that specific job, this uh, specific case is getting generated from a uh, you know, area, from an area of some area of Newark, and then what is happening? And that uh, that in that vicinity, that that service territory, that service resources will be found out, and based on their skill. Optimum skill of means it, it's a job is running in the back end. It is called optimizations. Based on that optimization job, it will picking at that actual appropriate service resource and assign that job into that service resource so that you can work on that uh, job and uh, give them the uh, means satisfied services. So, like it is basically provides the customer support team uh, means, uh, means it, it is basically intelligently delegate uh, the work to a field service technicians. Everything is happened by a field service engines, which is actually managed by Salesforce in the back end. Mm -hmm. so, so it provides the customer support team a chance to intelligently delegate work to a field service technicians and monitor them constantly. And also field service lighting, it is enabling them to handle the customer records and data in the field from within the Salesforce. Okay, so what what will happen is like uh, if if have is has some licensing requirements, that's fine. But definitely, it is handling the customer records and data 
within the sales force only so fsl give you the ability to bring together three important elements of a business who provide on field service means like uh means it 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 will provide the customers product and workforce these three things it will actually bring together these three important elements of a business it is actually collaboratively providing the customer service or workforce management you can say so if i'll go to the next page uh suppose this is the high level process like I, which i have just explained like i am a customer i'm facing an issue suppose in my house uh, some water leakage is happening in the pipe okay so what is happening so i'm just giving you an example or cable installations any kind of problem i am been cable related problem installation issue i am facing so what is happening being a customer i i have an issue and what i will do i will create a case on top of the service the sales force platform i will just uh, in the application perspective i'm talking about which is explore which is leveraging the service cloud components like cases is will play the main role here so if i have an issue i'm creating a case when i'm creating a case based on the case severity and based on the case type then work order will be generated work order, work order will be generated now if the work order will be generated then what will happen i am a customer so definitely i should have if i am taking a on site services means field technician will come to my house i need to have my availability right which day suppose tomorrow he will come to my house so i should be free from suppose 9 am to uh, 1 pm so this time is my preferred time and in this preferred time that specific service resource or field technician will come into my house to give the services that resource should be available if these three things will match then he will come uh, that service resource will be um, uh, delegated to that um, uh, means uh, uh, that uh, work orders means that that work order job he will be taking care of that job so sales force means will service like thing giving you one functionality which is booking appointment so what can i do being a customer i can book the customer appointment i i can give i have the feasibility to give my choice that tomorrow or day after tomorrow or uh, next day i'll be available from this time to this time and i'll able to see this particular time frame any service resource or field technicians is available or not so this flexibility is the out of box functionality which field service is providing to you being a customer now what will happening now case is created work order has been generated resource service resource find found out means technicians found out now everything is fine now what will happen in the back end now there is a persona which is called dispatcher which is actually field service persona he is actually monitoring and managing all the jobs which is been assigned to that specific territory so now he will be dispatching that specific uh, means work order or jobs as of now i'm putting that I'm, i'm i'm taking the name as jobs basically this job is called as service appointment so dispatcher will dispatching that specific jobs to the service resource because service resource they themselves is not responsible to get that job somebody being an admin or being a dispatcher has to manage this services from the back end so he will just manage the jobs and he will just assign that job to a service resources now coming to that field technicians look at this see he they are the mobile user this is the beauty of field service like thing it has the offline capability so they can receive the work orders from the dispatcher and they can accept their jobs from the mobile itself okay so they can update the job progress like it is in progress i have i have because suppose i am a field technicians i have just reached to the location so i can click on that specific pro pro uh, progress means i can I, i can update my progress like i have reached that locations i have accepted the job and i have completed the job with the digital sign signature so docu sign is also you can use here but this is optional but uh, you can use here but here also you can act, you can capture the digital signature for being a service uh, in field technicians like this so this is the high level process of field service so if i'll go to the next um things this is a object model we can discuss this in the next sessions so now coming to one thing 
which is very important like okay so this uh, this specific uh, okay let me just go to that next one yeah this one uh, which i have just explained this is the key players of field service like it's like um, administrators are there agents and dispatchers are there field service agents are there and customers are there means administrator means field service admin these four personas are the key player of field service likely they will get the job assigned when get means how that okay let me come to that point means being a field service admin what is the means role of field service administrator so field service administrator they can uh, configure all the settings of field service lighting like um, what is the severity of the work order which territory it is coming from it is actually the emergency situation or not which scheduling policy that needs to be assigned to that specific work order it is emergency or based on that customer feed, feed means cus because suppose it is a repeated customer based on that feedback that customer will be come coming first based on the scheduling policy like this or it is any kind of um, uh, means disrupted area so based on that field service admin they will take some actions and they will just configure the field service settings and the managed package which was installed in the system that also be upgraded or managed by the administrators only this is a fsl admin sometimes fsl admin and dispatchers they will play the same role I mean sometimes admin will also dispatch the service appointment to the service resources so how can i do that so i will just assign that same permission set to that like fsl dispatcher to the admin so that fsl admin can also do that same work okay so a permission set i'm coming to that point but let me just explain the key are uh, players of fsl now i'm coming to that um, service agents means the customer desk means who will accept the case and based on the case the work order will be generated uh, work order will be generate, generated and if the work order will be generated if we, it will have some subtask that subtask will be associated to the work order like this so that it's the work for service agents field service agents are the same thing that like field uh, service customers means field sorry field service technicians technicians work is the mainly important thing so what what they will do seven steps it it contains seven steps get a job assigned collect the details required collect the parts or repair material required for the job finish the job and log it into the system then get a confirmations from the customer then get paid definitely and go back and update the job status so this seven steps are field service like a uh, technician being a field service technician they can do it but the sixth point uh, number number point number six which i have just mentioned that get paid so that is actually not the out of box feature which field service provides this is a customized things this functionally it is happening but it is still is in progress field service like we totally not exposed that payment request things payment thing how can we be capturing the out of box field service like thing it is not it is still in in progress we need to customize these things so how does an office work then office agent work these service agents so office agents they can collect the work orders as i have mentioned they can assign the job then they can provide the required informations like which customer it is customer informations from which address it is coming from then time of availability to the technician service service agent whatever you can say then they can provide the parts or repair material required for the job then they can update the job status once completed so this is the this is the work for field service agent so these are the four key players or four personas we need to handle while we are developing an application in civil service life now coming to the important thing what is the capabilities to help service agent or dispatcher means basically it is very important they are tracking that status locations and inventory and one infor important thing which is called service report they, that they can generate the service report the service agent people they can generate the service reports which will help to provide the better status to the customer and management 
that responsibility they can take. So this is the overall uh, official thing I can take. Now coming into the optimization thing, which is a very, very important thing in FSL. Optimization means, suppose I, uh, I'm, I'm a service resource, sorry, I'm a dispatcher or I'm an FSL admin in my service territory, which I'm handling. So I have 50 service resources associated with it. So one job is getting created. One case is created. Based on that case, one work order has been generated. And one work order has been generated, then being a field service like me, I'm confused. That out of 50 service resources, how will I filter that? That which service resource is actually appropriate to get that work order to be assigned and they can provide the services. So definitely I need to pick up. So this filtering happening in the optimization engine, which Salesforce actually yeah, develop and it is a part of managed package. Optimizations will help you to make this service resource ranking or category categorizations like this specific service appointment. It's better to have this service resource will get that service appointment. So, what was the parameters to get these rankings happen? To this rankings happen, that skill of that service resource, which territory he is coming from his previous feedback, which customers gave, uh, gave to them. And then this uh, means, uh, means SLR, means street level routing thing. And if it is near to the customer locations from where the case is created. So all those four parameters that will be actually calculated in the backend based on the optimizations engine, and based on that, that service appointment is getting associated with the service resource. We do not need to have to do anything, just being a field service admin. We need to go to the field service settings. And from that field service settings, we need to just enable that optimization job, which will run or which will be executed in the backend in daily basis. It's a scheduled job. It will pick up all the service appointments and then start it doing the rankings. It will, pick, it will pick up the optimum service resource. So this is the significance of optimization job also. Yeah, so what I'm planning, uh, uh, like uh, from tomorrow onwards, the sessions which I'll be taking. So I will create means, uh, okay, you will create a day work and you will install the managed package, enable the full service lighting, and from the scratch, we will do the scenarios. 